Butch. Well, that was funny. I don't know if Butch is better at commentating sports or if he's better at singing. He was pretty good. Yeah, he shouldn't quit his day job. <laughs> but Ashley, you were at an event with my favorite beer. Stella's one of my favorite beers. Can you tell us about it? It's awesome. So I was actually a guest judge at the Stella Artois U.S finals, which was held at the Liberty Hotel. So did you drink a lot of Stella? I did. Free Stella everywhere. Amazing. It was an amazing party. Obviously, Liberty is one of the trendiest hotels in Boston to have this party at. Now, have you ever heard of a nine-step pouring process for a draft beer ever? No. Stella has one. And that's what we're judging on. So let's go ahead and I will take it away and show you what the heck a nine-step pouring process for a draft beer is. Welcome to the 2010 Stella Artois U.S. Drought Master Finals. Tonight, 16 Drought Masters from around the nation are competing head-to-head -head at the Liberty Hotel in the heart of Boston, Massachusetts. Each competitor will perform and be judged on this centuries-old Stella Artois signature nine-step pouring ritual. So it's down to 16 finalists here in Boston. What are you expecting out of them tonight? We're looking for perfection. We're looking for people who know the nine-step pouring ritual, people who have practiced an eye for detail, but we're also looking for big smiles, we're looking for character, passion, and I want to see the winner actually takes the beer and likes the beer as well. What we're looking for tonight is someone that can not only master the nine step pouring ritual uh, technical side, but also show a bit of their personality because they really want to, you know, they've really got to enjoy it. At stake is the US Drought Master crown and a spot at the World Drought Master title competition in London. There they'll compete against 31 of the world's top Stella Artois performers for the title of World Drought Master and embark on an adventure to over 20 countries as the official Stella Artois ambassador. It feels weird to hear you say that because um, it hasn't really sunk in. Even though I'm holding the biggest trophy I've, I've ever held to be with 32 other people from other countries competing against them. So I'll be excited. I'm definitely, uh, I'm just going to have a great time and, and represent, represent uh, Boston, represent the U.S. Got to do my part. All right, let me show you how to pour the perfect Absolutely outstanding event. It was the Draft Masters International Awards for the best Stella pour in the world. And we took the whole Alibi Hotel, we uh, the Liberty Hotel with Alibi and everything else included, and we had the best pours in the world come there for a national pour. It was an absolutely outstanding event. How did that end? Did we have a winner? Yes, we did. Uh, the national champion won, won the award, and he will move on. And now next year we'll do that again. It's an absolutely fantastic event. We, do, we run that throughout Europe and throughout the United States, and then we take the best pours from all over the world and bring them together for one event. That was what happened at the Liberty Hotel. That is a serious title. Now, with a title like that, what kind of prize comes along with that? What do you get for being the best? in the world? Well, there's a cash award we don't like to talk about, but then he also gets to hold the title, which is more important in our opinion. <laughs> How are you enjoying the Nightlife Award so far tonight? I tell you what, this is an outstanding event. The Dirty War TV has come so far. I mean, this really is like highlighting the best in, in nightlife activity in the city of Boston. This is something Billy Fairweather and I talked about 10 years ago, and it's a long time coming, but it's great to see it happening. And this is like a pinnacle tonight where everybody in the industry is coming together and really highlighting what's going on in the city of Boston. It's great. It really is the best 
the best tonight. And we're so glad you can join us because honestly, who doesn't like a nice cold Bud Light, you know, especially on a Monday night. Absolutely. Thanks, Brendan. Thanks so much, Morgan. Now we're going to toss it on stage for a very special guest and award, right? That's right. Matt Robitaille of the Bustonian and the Botonian is going to present someone with a very special award. You wouldn't know by looking at him, but my friend Danny is a W double amputee. All right, those f***ers over there in Iraq blew him up as, in his words, I didn't say that, in his words, with an IED. All right, and they got both of his legs, but they did not get his spirit, they did not get his soul. And he is here, all right? He is here to celebrate this award ceremony with us. He flew up from Walter Reed, which is the rehab facility uh, down in uh, Washington, D.C., where they all end up and they learn to, to work on their legs and whatever else it might be. So I, I, I'm honored. This is the best check that I've ever written in my entire life. If I could get Joe, Joe from Homes for Our Troops up here, Joe, and all, all these people up here behind me, they're all the staff that work for Homes for Our Troops. And uh, the reason why I'm giving you this check here tonight is because the service industry, all you out there tonight, are the ones who made this number possible. A lot of you played in the tournament, most of you donated in the tournament, so next year when I come creeping on your doorstep asking for money, some product, some gift certificates, whatever it's going to be. No, it's not going to me. It's going to guys like Danny Garska, United States Marine Corps, who keep this United States going. Up next, we'll howl at the moon as the Nightlife Network, Morgan Chase, takes us to Boston's newest hotspot. And later, Jada performs when Dirty Water TV from the 2010 Nightlife Awards returns. When you told me, oh. Gonna announce the bar, the winner for uh, best bar food. Here you go, Sarah. Best bar Thank food. Thank you. All right, folks. Let's give a shout out to everyone up top. And we drink. Let's go. Raise them up. All right. Best five bar food nominees: Splash, Clocks, The Greatest Bar, Baseball Tavern, McGreevy's, and Globe. And the winner is... And the winner is the Globe. Raise it up to the Globe. Thank you. We have the greatest staff. We have the greatest bosses. And obviously, great bar food. And I'm very happy to be up here. Thank you, everybody.